Hey everyone, welcome back. For this week's video, I thought it'd be fun to make a cute bunny girl. I got really inspired by all the little bunny rabbits that hop around my neighborhood. They're just so cute. So I knew I had to do a repaint. So let's go ahead and get started. As always, I'm gonna take some acetone to remove her factory paint. Now I'm just gonna dunk her head in some boiling water and let that sit for about five minutes to soften up all the plastic to make it easy to remove her head. And using my little scraper tool, I'm gonna start removing the hair from the inside. And once I got most of it out, I'm gonna go ahead and take my X-Acto and cut the top of her head off. I cut the eye holes off camera, but I just used an X-Acto and tried to get it really thin. And after I did that, I used some sandpaper and sanded around the eyes. I also shaved down the size of her nose because we're going to be sculpting over it later. Now to prep her for some body modifications, I'm going to go ahead and sand down her whole body just to remove that exterior plastic shine. Now using my favorite epoxy clay, I'm going to go ahead and start giving her body mods. I'm going to give her more bunny type of feet and thicken her calves and legs and booty just a little bit. And I also sculpted her this super cute bunny face. I let the epoxy clay cure overnight and then the next day I sanded it really good because we're going to be airbrushing it next. And mixing up some model color and some airbrush thinner, I go ahead and start spray painting her body. I wanted to keep the base color slightly close to the original doll, just so you can't see the wear on the joints as much. I also spray painted her hands and feet and the center of her face white too. Using more epoxy clay and some armature wire, I sculpted her a couple ears and a little tail. 
And using some Mod Podge and this faux fur that I got at Joann's, I'm gonna go ahead and start giving her tail and ears some fur. I made these white eye bases out of polymer clay. I knew I wanted to give her nice light colored lavender eyes. So I'm just filling in the eye bases with some acrylic paint. And while the paint's still a little tacky, I go ahead and added some purple hollow glitter. Here's the pupils that I made out of polymer clay. I'm just painting those black. To seal in the paint and glitter, I'm going to use a couple drops of the UV resin. And once that's cured, I'm gonna go ahead and add some more resin to finish the eyes and give them a nice dome shape. Here's how they turned out. Now for her face, I'm gonna go ahead and start giving her a contour. And add some nice red blush and add some pink pastel to her lips and nose. And using a brown watercolor pencil, I'm just gonna start sketching in her mouth, making it look more upturned and a little more happy and less angry looking. With that same pencil, I'm gonna start sketching in her eye folds and start her eyebrows too. With some brown pastel powder, I'm just going to start giving her mouth and nose some dimension. And after I sealed her again, I'm going to start building up her eyebrows more, just adding in more hairline strokes and making them look a little more realistic. I'm also going to start on her bottom lashes. Now I'm just giving her lips a little more depth.
And don't forget about that brow bone highlight. Taking some hot glue, I'm going to go ahead and put her ears in place. And drill a hole for her tail using my power drill. And using my favorite glue for eyelashes, E6000, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting those into place. I went ahead and inserted her eyes off camera. But I just used epoxy clay and kind of fiddled with it until it looked the way I wanted. It's super nerve wracking. Using some hot glue and some hair wefts I got from AliExpress, I'll go ahead and start gluing her hair to her head. At this point, she's pretty much done. I'm gonna go ahead and get her styled and cleaned up and all that, and let's see how she turned out. Mm -hmm. 